Hey guys, here I'm just doing a quick retopology on the jaw using Z-Sphere retopology. And before I get into retopologizing the face, I want to show you a cool little trick that I used for the eye socket. First I grabbed a sphere and I deleted half of it. I switched to a different tool and appended a Z-Sphere. And I went down to topology with the Z sphere selected and uh, hit select topo. Then I selected the half sphere subtool. And that allows us to edit all the points on that subtool with the Z sphere retopology. And this is a feature that I've always known was here, but I've never really used it before this project definitely came in handy here because I didn't really want to retopologize the eye socket manually save a little bit of time here I'm just moving the half sphere into place using the move brush trying to get it to fit into the eye socket and once I get it into place I mirror it over and then use the z-sphere select topo so that I can edit it and make the rest of the face off of those points and it doesn't take too long to add in the rest of the points. I don't take it farther than I have to because I know that I'll be using a lot of Z Modeler to add thickness, edge loops, fill in gaps. And if you're familiar with polygrouping and creasing, the rest of the video is pretty self explanatory. So enjoy the rest of the video.